Hi, this is Brendan Davis from Bedrock Games and the Bedrock Blog, and today I'm going to do a partial episode of Wuxia Weekend. It's This is really more of an announcement than an episode. Uh, it's the holidays, and so uh, it's been difficult to coordinate uh, getting everybody together. And also, I think, you know, during the holidays, not too many people are listening either, so I, I didn't want to... Uh, get everyone together and take them away from things that might have been important in order to to do an episode of Wuxia Weekend. We did have a film called uh, Soul of the Sword lined up, though, and so I had watched it. Um, it's got action direction by Tong Kai, who's always marvelous at doing that. It's a film directed by Hua Shan. It was made in 1978 and stars Ti Lung. It also stars uh, Ku Fung, and it has... Uh, a sizable role for Norman Chu and a very interesting role with uh, Lao Wai Wing. Uh, Lily Lili plays a uh, minor part, but a pretty uh, unforgettable part early in the film. And, uh, and also uh, Lin Chen Chi plays the love interest in the movie. Now, this was the first time I saw it. So I, I was, I just watched it and I reacted Whenever we can, I prefer to do it that way because it's very different for me if I have seen a movie before and I already know what I think and then I'm re-watching it for the purposes of doing Wuxia Weekend versus if I see a movie for the first time with fresh eyes. And I like to get that that that, that fresh-eyed approach. So so this was something that I that it was refreshing because I, I hadn't seen it before. And this film... Again, we're going to probably talk about it next week. We're going to come on and we'll have a full episode on it. So just to give my reaction and what I was thinking uh, watching the film is very grimdark. Um, I, don't, I, I don't use the term grimdark that much, but this film definitely feels grimdark to me. And it's one of these movies that really emphasizes the, the loneliness and grittiness and just the sometimes the needless bloodshed and the lack of of love that's supposed to exist for a swordsman in the martial world if they want to rise to the pinnacle. And, and so I, I, I tend to like movies that do that. This one does some very surprising things though. So I want to get the surprising dark elements out of the way. And there are some people might have trouble with this content. So just be aware with that, that this is a, this is, this is a movie that uh, leans heavily into some shocking scenes. Uh, Number one, there's, there's nudity in the movie, which isn't, that unusual for a um, Shaw Brothers film from this era, but worth noting. However, there there's a rape. There's actually two rape scenes if you really want to get down to it. But the hero rapes the love interest, and one of the truly disturbing things about it is she was already willing, but he rapes her anyway. And I think the point of the scene was to sort of emphasize how he just can't escape from being a violent person because he's dedicated his whole life to being a swordsman so it 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 was shocking and disturbing but personally i felt that it was in keeping with the theme and it and it um and it and it sort of uh created this this situation where leading up to that you're still connecting to the hero and and you still uh you know, the hero is very likable. And at that point, there's, you get a little bit more detachment from the hero, but I found that kind of added to the experience of the movie. Um, I also think that that's a little bit more of a, uh, a more realistic portrayal of, a um, of, of the kind of violent martial world they're trying to, to, uh, to, to present here. So it's sort of like, you know, if you think about, you know any number of uh, of occupations that involve violence. It's difficult for people to 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 draw that line crisply all the time. So I think um, I think it's a little bit cynical, but uh, but I don't know. It, was, it, it 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 didn't feel like one of these scenes that was just thrown in purely for the shock, is what I'm saying. But there was another scene that was also, in my mind, a rape scene, and this one involved a woman. Uh, assaulting a man and she basically coerced him into having sex with her through violence um, and so I, and, it, and it seemed like a deliberate mirroring uh, so I, I thought those were uh, number one that I want to point them out because I think if anybody watches this movie they should probably know those are there going in uh, but number two they were they were connected more with the theme of the film than you usually find with that kind of content so I thought it was worth pointing out um, but the The real heart of the film, and I think the real reason that I liked it, is really what the movie is all about, 
is the mind games that that two fighters will play with each other leading up to a duel. And this is something you see obviously in combat sports, but you you see it as well, you know, in a movie like this or in, you know, real world fighting. So I thought that uh, I thought that it did a really good job of uh, of getting at sort of the mind games and trying to get into somebody's head and and even as a viewer, you sort of it, they were very effective at making you not know how much of the stuff that was going on was reality or not. And you kind of felt the the discombobulation that the T. Lung character, who's just called Nameless in this, uh, must have felt. The basic setup is there's a, a guy called the King of Swords or the um, the Soul of the Sword. It's a little unclear to me. The, mov- the movie is Soul of the Sword, but in the subs, uh, Gu Feng's character is called King of the Sword. And the movie opens up with him dueling with a guy, and there's a woman uh, that is that the guy is, is presumably his love interest that he's brought to observe the fight, and uh, and and Gu Feng, uh, says to him that like he's already lost because he brought this woman here, and his mind is otherwise uh, occupied with her, and he beats the man. The man commits suicide. Uh, the man ca- dies, and then the woman commits suicide, and. T. Lung's character is just a boy and witnesses all this and then spends his whole life training so that he can go on to fight and defeat the King of Swords. And so it's a nice sort of neat uh, setup. But when he becomes an adult and after we've seen him kill some people, he he's ready to contend with the King of Swords. But he meets a woman who looks exactly like the woman who committed suicide. And that gets into his head. And and he, and he, and he has to wrestle with that uh you know, over the course of the movie. And so I don't want to uh, dwell too much on the details of it, but I thought that was all very interesting. And and what makes the movie especially gritty and sort of uh, grimdark is, and again, I'm going to spoil a major, major plot point, is unlike the other swordsman, uh, you know, uh, he, he realizes that, that this woman is the thing that is going to keep him from winning the final fight. And so he... He, he kills her and he kills her after she's fallen in love with him. He after after they've been basically living together as a couple. And after she says, I'll wait for you uh, when you go to the duel and I only return safely and you can come back to me. He stabs her right in the heart and then he goes and he has his duel with with the, the King of Swords. Uh, but leading up to all this, the King of Swords has been masquerading as a doctor who befriends Nameless and 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 he actually gets to like him, and so uh, I think the I think I think his real purpose initially was to to sort of play these mind games and assess the guy and figure out how to defeat him. Uh, but in the final battle, when Nameless uh, Nameless uh, delivers a lethal blow to to King of Swords, King of Swords, you know, says, you know, the reason I lost this duel is because I I actually like you a lot, and so it's kind of a touching final scene, and then. Uh, even after that, there's more material where uh, there's a whole subplot involving the woman who rapes the man, uh, played by Norman. Uh, the, the the man who gets raped is uh, played by Norman Chu, and they're both plotting to kill uh, T. Lung's character. And so they they use all of the events that are going on uh, leading up to the duel as a as a uh, as a way of setting him up for an ambush. And so when he goes back to uh, uh, the the woman's boy, I think her name is. Uh, Julian, when he goes back to Julian's body, uh, the woman has sort of replaced her and pushed the body aside and she stabs him. And it's, it's, it's a very sort of Shakespearean style ending, but I think it's fitting for the movie. And, and so, so yeah, so this movie, I, I quite liked it. It's, it is very disturbing. Um, it's very dark. It's definitely very dark. This is one of the most ominous characters I've seen T. Lung play. Um, you know, he's played ominous characters that I've seen, but this is, this one, really felt quite dark. Um, and, and so, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what everybody else thinks. I don't know how everyone else is going to feel about this. Cause I think the, you know, again, there are a couple of really disturbing scenes. I think those will definitely shape people's opinion of the movie. And I also don't know how people are going to feel about all the other content and the story and the flow. I quite liked the way the story played out. I also really liked the fighting. I felt that the fighting was well above par. It was, it was, it was, it was notably exceptional in terms of the choreography and the execution. It just, it just all looked very on point. And it also had a, there was a poignancy to it that, you know, the, the fights weren't just fights. There was, there, there felt 
it felt like there was deeper and richer meaning. And I think there was meaning in there that p- people particularly who come from martial arts backgrounds will appreciate. I think this is a, a movie, not just for martial arts movie fans, but if you're, a, if you have experience with martial arts, I think you will like this film. Um, it gets into a lot of stuff that you'll, you'll, you'll recognize, uh, and connect to, to real martial arts. So, uh, so I quite like that. I also like that the that the style of choreography in this in this movie is more of like a it's almost like a, a a nice blend of the sort of swashbuckling style and the really highly stylized style of the of the you know like the mid to late seventies. Uh, so you so you, and and it and it's very fast, but it's not quickly edited, so you can see everything, even though it feels like the pacing is very uh, is, is 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 very rapid. You don't get lost in the in the mix, and you can see what everybody's doing. So there's a number of scenes where you can see T. Lung doing something. You can see his face, and you know that it's all. You, you know that in that scene, at least, that it's him. Um, you know there are some scenes where people's faces get obscured, and it might be <clears throat> might be a double. But there are a lot of like form scenes and stuff that are, I think, quite impressive. And, and so I I really enjoyed it. Um, this one is on Amazon Prime, so people can check it out. Uh, again, I might be the only person who likes this movie. I don't know. I'm, I'm really interested to see what people think, but I, I, I suspect it'll be a conversation starter though. So, so either way, we're, we're b- bound to have an interesting discussion and it's definitely the kind of movie that is by its nature going to be divisive because of the content. Um, but, but again, I feel like even with some of the kind of content it had, it all really did touch to the theme of the film and it wasn't like they just threw it in there, uh, you know, willy nilly. It wasn't purely done for shock, and and even even though though it was shocking, but it wasn't done with the intent of just being shocking, and and I think that it's sort of like um, it's sort of like in the Sopranos, they would occasionally have the characters do these bad things to remind you that the characters are bad guys, and I feel like they were kind of doing that with the T Lung character. They weren't saying he was a bad guy, but they were saying. I mean, they were. They were definitely saying that this is like a dirty world these guys live in, and this occupation has a, an effect that makes them, uh, you know, violent all around. And so, um, and so, I don't know, but I, I do think it's going to land very differently with different viewers. So, so I would like to see what the rest of the group thinks. I'd like to see what listeners think too. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, you might want to check it out. If those types of uh, if that type of content troubles you, I wouldn't watch it. Uh, if if uh, if if you, it's it's not a feel good wuxia movie. This is not going to make you feel better about yourself, and it's grim dark, but it's not grim dark in a way that feels. Um, sometimes grim dark can be sort of silly, and and so it doesn't feel that dark. This is a grim dark movie that feels really dark, and uh, and 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 uh, it has some weighty weighty issues in it, and. Uh, and is definitely uh, probably one of the darkest wuxia movies I've ever seen. I don't think I've seen many that get to the, this level of of, um, of of darkness. So uh, it's it's definitely up there. Um, yeah. So again, Soul of Swords is the name, and it's uh, 1978. It's directed by Hua Shan, and it's available on Amazon Prime. Uh, you know, I I again I. I we you know we I made this call last minute, but I, I think that it was the right call that we shouldn't uh, meet tonight and 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 I want to just wish everybody happy holidays. Uh, we'll be back on next week. Uh, hopefully, we'll be discussing Soul of the Sword, and then we'll move into the next month's theme. But uh, but yeah, so happy holidays and have a great day. Mm-hmm.